Hey guys, it's SCW 495 here bringing you a review of the ProLine Pro 2 LCG kit for the Slash Tool Drive. Um, I didn't see a lot of stuff on YouTube of this chassis yet, so I wanted to buy it and put a video up so you guys would know whether or not you should really try it out or not. And I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. You should. It's a, it's a great chassis for $100. Um, I mean, it's a little pricey, but if you're going to race your Slash, it's really the only way to go. Or actually, if you have a Rustler or a Stampede and you feel like making it into a Slash... It's a good way to go too, because it uses pretty much the same front and rear end. So, as you see, it lowers it down a lot, um, brings it down really low, maybe a couple inches of ground clearance. Um, it mimics the 22 a lot, like even the the three battery foam strips in the middle and like all that stuff mimics the 22. It's finished in this really nice gold anodizing, and all the hardware they give you, and they do give you a fair bit of hardware to put everything together. Is uh, black oxide, or it's, I don't know if it's black oxide, but it's a uh, black uh, countersunk Allen wrench or hex head stuff. So it's really nice. Keeps with the looks of the kit. Uh, it has these really nice pockets that are machined into it for like I guess lightweight, and it looks really cool. Um, I'm using my stock servo, and it comes with uh, aluminum servo mounts. You can actually use the stock setup with the uh, servo saver. In the on the save on the servo, um, you just have to notch out the chassis a little bit, like I did, because I used it for a short period of time. But I did upgrade to the the newer bell cranks, which I would suggest that too. It helps a lot. Um, other than that, really, they give you they give you they don't give you a lot, but they do give you a lot of hardware to put it together with. Um, there's not a lot to the chassis. There's a lot of uh, battery adjustability. You got a lot of little holes here, so you can move your battery fore and aft. Uh, you get an ESC plate. They give you that. Um, I have my receiver up here, but then I moved it back here. And it's kind of messy, so pardon that. Uh, you you can use the stock uh, Traxxas A arms, which I didn't know if you could do that or not, but you can. You can use everything stock. So basically, I just pulled the front and rear ends off my slash and just bolted them up. Easy as that. Um, from a basher's point of view. There's really nothing wrong with it, and there's nothing really more to say. I mean, it drives great, and it's still got a fair amount of ground clearance to uh, get around obstacles. Uh, from a racer's point of view, which I guess you could actually call me a basher turn racer, this thing's awesome. I took it to uh, a track up in Indiana, Indiana called PNT Hobbies, which I actually have a video on my uh, on my channel. And it was my first time racing, my first time running this truck, uh, just running these tires. They're dirt tracks, lineup SCs, and then Proline. Uh, slicers and they're both basically what you would call M2 compound. The Proline's M2 and these are C3 which is basically M2. But anyway, um, I didn't do too terribly bad with this truck. I actually beat out some SC10s in the qualifier and qualified fourth out of everyone on my first race and uh, really, really, really pleased with the way this thing came out. Uh, I mean there's a lot in it and honestly there's still a lot to go. You could go with the Proline or the RPM chat or transmission case and all that or the transmission with the Proline. Could do the Pro Track kit but I don't think it's necessary. You can dremel out your front A-arms and check out the Ultimate Traxxas thing where uh, Jang from Ultimate RC re or made that Rustler 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 race worthy. Uh, that would be a great way to really make this thing shine even more than it does already. And like I said, it drives great. It's awesome. It's a durable kit. It uh, it looks fantastic, <laughs> even though it kind of looks like a 22. Um, it's just great, and I would highly recommend it. So if anyone, I mean, anyone has any question on how it performs, look at my video because that's what I'm running. I had people asking me what I was running, like even though it was my first race, and I don't really drive that well yet. People still were fairly impressed. So. That's just my opinion on it. I hope that helped you guys out. I know there's a lot, I had a lot of questions myself as to whether I could use my stock servo because there's not a lot of info on it yet. But like I said, you can use everything stock pretty much. There's no need for any extras other than the bell cranks maybe. But just wanted to give you guys my opinion. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope it helped you.